Right. Welcome to another episode of the Wings of Liberty Protest Edition. This. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Carax. Oh, they already started. Okay. So, what this is, this is a. Whoa, this car is actually taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, we got the repair! This is gonna be a cakewalk. See, you know what? No, you, you two carriers go. I remember this mission. Okay, so what this is, is that this is an arcade mode where a guy called Synergy went and redid the entire Terran campaign. Except that you play Protoss. Which is just the coolest, the, the coolest thing in the world. I've done 19 missions of these so far and it is a mind-bending experience, I love it. Okay, the fleet should arrive, I guess we warp in stuff. Normally it's supposed to be lines of text and voice lines and everything, but he, if you can't pawn over, you can't pawn over. Okay, I guess this is going to be a mass carrier. Okay, these middles don't really have much, which is going to be a problem. Do we have automated refineries? I will probably just get like. There are mineral deposits scattered across the valley. If we collect them, bolster our resources. Yeah, sure. Oh, I have havoc. Uh, okay, that's that's a that's gonna be a problem. Oh, I can't even build a havoc now. Never mind. We'll send a probe to go get it. Okay, so what this mission is specifically is that we need to get this Zeldaga artifact away from the Taldorim. Oh, and this is something so cool about Synergy. He actually took the effort to... Oh, the enemy's there. Okay, let's kill them. He actually took the effort to... And we'll see this with this talker. To reskin all of the units... All of the Protoss units to fit the Taldorim theme. Uh, no, Akira's not going to be able to pick that up. Assign a Probius. Okay. Pick up Zimani. Start carrier production, or continue carrier production rather. Do I need observers? No, okay, a warp prism, that is going to be useful. I'm so used to be playing with, uh... We should get a shield battery, I feel. Okay, they got archons. And... We have more than enough money, I think I'll go double carriers right away. No, 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 I need my upgrades. Which means cyber core. And second carry, we have enough money and... Okay, automated refinery, this is huge. We'll wait for the next carry to pop and then we'll attack this group of units down here. Secure our southern flank. In the meantime, let's... Oh, we can deploy Phoenix, we have Temporal Field. We have the Reconstruction Beam, which is huge. And we have Orbital Assimilators. If oh, if this one wasn't this and anything else, this would be infinitely harder. So... What this mission is, is that we need to basically rob the the Taldorim and steal this thing from them. And what these things are, are warp zones. Basically anything... Okay, so, so here's the crazy part. In the original mission, you play as Terran. And in the original mission, anything without shields gets destroyed by these uh, force fields. However, however, if you take a carrier... Because, again, now we're playing Protoss. You take a carrier, they should be able to fly through this just fine. Yeah, it's fine. In the actual mission, if you ran battleships... No, not battleships. Battle cruisers. Should I get... Now, let's just go mass carriers. Oh, the enemy's here. We should be able to shoot batteries. That's for sure. Let's build one shoe battery. And we'll have it as a repair. Okay, okay, so, so here's the thing. If you damage your ship, this is a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, and you fly it through, it's gonna take damage. Okay, the cannon. Uh, yeah, so you notice that it's. No, it's still being repaired. The healing beam is too strong. Never mind. I thought it would take damage. DT allies. Okay, so this is... Oh, that would have been really cool if they were Terran Ghosts, but in the original mission, this is this is consistent. There are Taldorim prisoners, aka DTs, who have been essentially kidnapped. Extract additional pylons. What's new? Alright, let's put down some pylons. 
we kind of have the money for now. We will run our money sooner rather than later at this rate, the way I'm spending it. And there's not that much resources actually on this platform. Take out the Archon followed by the Stalker. What the? Oh, enemy attack wave. Are they dead? Okay, good. Take care of this. This probe will pick up all the money and gas. So that's the thing. In the original... In the original mission, this was actually a fairly difficult one because you needed to... Only only the BCs and to some extent the Thors can realistically endure this gravity warp zone. Okay, warp zone. Let's call it warp zone. Oh, we're gonna lose a pilot. What a waste. Are we gonna lose a pilot? No, it's not. Okay, no, we're not. Rather, we're getting our upgrades. We've got our fleet of carriers. Let's start pushing. Do we have to destroy the zones? I'm not very curious. In, again, in the actual mission, because you play Terran, you need to clear these zones. If not, you can't send in reinforcements, you can't send in repair crews. But if we're playing... Okay, these, this is a committed push. Uh-oh. Well, this is bad. I'm going to build another shield battery. Oh, these Archons are doing real damage. What are the upgrades? Okay, 1-1. One, one. Is it nasty? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna cannon. Oh, I don't have a. Okay, no, I'll just pull a forge. It's fine. I'm gonna make a. What the? Stupid carrier. Does this cost money? I don't think so. Okay, we've cleared out the cannons. Take out this pylon. This will draw out the enemy stalkers? No? Okay, doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, the Tal Darim are actually... Again, in the actual mission, the actual Wings of Liberty... Stalker. In the actual Wings of Liberty mission, you... not only don't get carriers, you, you get battle cruisers, but you don't get these nice skins. Those skins honestly were not yet invented. Okay, let's free the Taldori prisoner. I'm very tempted to just clear this without um uh, wrong button. I'm very curious to try and do this without. Okay, it's gonna be a bit tough. They've actually got good defenses here. And unfortunately we have Havocs rather than no 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 focus these things down. You know what? I, I gotta do this now. I've said it. I wanna How do I disengage? Disengage. Okay, we're taking this base for sure. And we're gonna blow up everything else. Where are our DTs? Uh actually honestly the DT's job right now should be to collect the money and the gas. What's happening? Nope, just, they're, they're probably just going to blow it up. What the? Oh, enemy. Oh, enemy drop. They're already here. Damn it. Quite tough, aren't they? Tanky buggers. The pilots. Did they blow up the low guard one? Oh, right, I was supposed to build a cannon. I actually forgot the cannon. That sucks. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We already have a warp prism somewhere. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. I forgot where Probius is. Never mind, we'll just pick up three probes in here and just leave. Our upgrades are lacking, which is bad. And we'll send these guys to go and get the money. So, I... Where are the DTs? These DTs are actually very valuable because in the actual mission, they're the only ones that could that could uh, work at will inside these stabilization, these warp zones. Oh, did you see that? See, that's the thing. Oh, these, this guy needs to die. See, that's the thing. Once you knock out the shields, they start taking damage and they will auto die. Oh, they've got Shadow Fury. That is so cool. Does that apply to buildings too?
Oh, the buildings will burn down. Yeah, it's burning down. Okay. Where's, 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 where's the fleet? I think the fleet can wait here a little while. Um, they'll take these. Build another Nexus. And then... Back at the prism, collect all the money. We actually don't have that much gas, which is a problem. This is actually a real issue if, if you're playing as Terran. Because, oh right, the war prism has additional range. Because you can't secure any of these positions once these fields are up and running. Of course there's... Oh, the enemy fleet's here. I don't remember the the enemy actually sending such a fleet to, to defend. I am also supposed to make my cannons up here. There are more resources nearby. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Construct a second nexus near them to accelerate our harvesting. I'm aware. Okay. And minerals. Okay, it's actually a bigger problem than I thought. Uh let's go pick up cash first. We burnt to our bag pretty darn fast. Okay, so self-imposed challenge. This is, by the way, the difficulty of this is set to hard. The creator, at th when, when he did this, he mentioned that he wasn't entirely sure how to change the difficulty. So it was just kind of like set to hard. That being... Oh, how did how did this drop get past all the defenses? That's not good. We're gonna lose the robo, which honestly doesn't matter. All right, I think the way I'll play this is that we'll attack and we'll set up forward positions with shield batteries. Actually. Whoa! Okay, I was actually planning. Oh wow, there are a lot more, a lot fewer resources than I thought. Okay, this is bad. This is honestly a mistake I made in my first playthrough. Where are my DTs? They should do something. Oh, the shields are back. Oh, these guys survived. Okay. Oh, that means the shields will come. Uh, the shields will come up first. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I did not understand that. I thought. Because they're already, they're always taking damage. I thought that because they're always taking damage, like the moment you oh, come on. Hello. Okay, good. Now you work for me. I thought that because you always take damage, they're always taking damage. Let's just load up everybody. Yeah, you can mine out like the remaining. This is a terrible, like... No, 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 oh, man. Where the heck are you guys? Oh, there you are. I don't really tend to use the DTs much. Focus more on the carrier fleet. All right, screw this. Let's, let's push. Uh, there's another group of prisoners here. We should free them. Well, it's actually going to be kind of tough because we need to defend against attack waves. You know what, I'll put the DTs on defensive duty and focus on my 9 carriers which should be 9 invincible. Mm, we can ignore this. There's a lot of money here. Uh, let's kill them. If, okay, the enemy air force is here too. We've got void rays, another carrier. Yeah, so even though it's taking damage, Caraxes... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, no, ground-based A. No, no, okay, these scouts are actually a problem. Scouts have insane anti-air capabilities. <laughs> oh, man, if Zero 2 could reply, that would be something. I think this is the only pylon... Yeah, it's actually kind of weird because the Protoss, I, I checked, I checked, they don't have any detection. How do we fight that mothership? 
Okay, okay, I should, I should retreat. Oh, good lord, well, that was not a uh, hotkey. We should not be taking any losses here. Oh, come on, kill the enemy carrier first. You know what, let's just wipe out this base as it stands. I think we got this. As usual, take out the pylons. Oh, they're massive for another attack, that's why stuff was there. How bad is it? Yeah, I think we could take this. That a bit of what the Oh, did I? Oh, crap. I never told them to get back to work. Uh, is the light holding? It actually is. Okay, we're fine. Blow this up. Blow all this up. Blow all this up. Yep, the shields are recovering. Okay, so shields come back into action regardless of whether they're taking damage from the warp zone. That's important to know. I generally think I could win this mission with just this attack force. High Templars, okay. Pretty scary splash damage, but now they're dead. Uh, okay, I gotta put them away from these generators so that they don't shoot. Okay, enemy carrier, destroy that. Okay, there's actually a fair amount of ground base AA, we can take it. Enemy Havocs. Wait, the mothership's nearby. I'm gonna pull back. Uh, where's the warp prism? Okay, I need to assign a new Probius. And we'll retreat to the... No, take, take out these guys first. Then retreat to the shoe batteries. Okay, set up a forward position. Oh, I can't set up a forward position. Okay, heal up. Turn around, engage this load. Two carriers? Yeah, two carriers. Okay, it's two against twelve. What else do they have? None. Bad. Go. Okay, I think here is a good place for forward positions. You can also help me grab whatever money is on the floor. We need to get the upgrades, which I keep forgetting. Minerals, yeah, right, whatever. Can we just gun down the mothership? Is that the best way? Okay, let's go! Focus fire it down. Oh, time warp! Uh, jump into the warp! I might need to restart this mission depending on how well that move went. Okay, the mothership's taking damage, but so are my ships. Okay, focus down the mothership. Okay, it did some sort of like teleportation retreat. Okay, that's a lot of stalkers. We are gonna lose a ship! Ship down, ship down! Oh, uh, snap. Okay, we are taking a lot of damage. Where is the Probius? Okay, there it is. Uh, these prisoners are free. They will return to their duties here. What is going on? I'll let this one zealot hold the line. And get all the money. Oh, hey, a Colossi. Alright, I think after taking such a decisive victory, I should push the next objective. Which is basically to blow this up. Oh, the mothership's back. Okay, okay, okay. Sardic Storm still does quite a bit of damage. They completely missed. Oh, I'm, I'm ignoring these things. Oh, crap. I'm missing a lot of key units. Okay, I think we got the mothership. What is its damage? Whoa, there's a lot here. think we could win this. We've lost another ship, unfortunately. Okay, we should retreat. Where are those shield batteries? There we go. When playing the quote-unquote actual game mode, when playing the actual game mode, um, normally I set up SCV repair stations. Just basically like a group of SCVs to, you know, hang around, to repair the carriers or doors, depending on what you feel like playing. I made a huge mistake. The first time I ever played this, I attempted to go bio, and it was just shredded. 
Oh man, if there were like proper achievements for this, like an achievement should be to win this mission without blowing up any of the warp zones. Oh come on. I thought I blew you up already. Well, it might, but uh but the ascender directly below you is gonna be very happy. See that's the thing about the Taldoim, they practice this weird well uh, like let me not be racist and not call it weird. They practice this cultural system where... How do you pick that up? This cultural system where whenever you're born, you are assigned a number. And basically, you are... You have to obey, obey the guy above you. And the only way to ascend is either you kill the guy above you or the guy above you falls in battle, making him unworthy. So uh, that will cause... Actually, that goes the same for every single unit. Every single Taldorim warrior here. But for Nylon, particularly, he's getting a promotion. Ah, oh, this carrier needs to go back for repairs. These other carriers will continue the offensive. Take out this... these Taldorim. Okay, okay, there's quite a lot of carriers here. Enemy carriers, that is. Void Ray, okay, is Void Ray dead? Okay, good, knock out. Knock this out, take out their reinforcements. Okay, that carrier should have been repaired. Uh, where's the last group of prisoners? Oh, they're down here. Okay, let's let's go rescue them. This is again. This is a difficult mission, the real game, because you're playing Terran, and the moment you fight inside these, uh, oh, the probe died. That's sad. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any plans for you. DTs. Uh, we just need to blow up the vault, right? By the way, these pylons look so cool. I don't know why they would never use any skins uh, I've, or why we've never seen them again. Uh, you know what? Time's are wasting. Let's finish this. So, uh, if you like this content, do consider liking and subscribing. For those who eventually watch on, who are watching on YouTube, if not, you know, leave a comment down below and see you next time.